somewhere. That's the first two notes to be sung of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. The first line would go Somewhere over the rainbow. And all of that fits into the chord that we think of as C major, which is in the key that we think of as C major. That's C, D, E. basic scale of the C major key. We're going to sing the first two notes of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. What we want to look at is the various scales that are inside the C major scale. And this is just one way of looking at the types of scales we think of as modes. We're going to concentrate just on the song's first two notes, which are both C, some and where. In order to sing that, you have to decide whether you're going to hit the note directly, some, or slide to it, some, and here, where, or where. You're going to have to develop the chest and lung strength and abdominal strength to hold on to somewhere without running out of air too quickly so that you have some time to try to do some things with this note before you like fall off the um, playing stool or collapse in front of a microphone. Probably the easiest thing to do is to remember that in this scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then repeat C, there are only seven notes. And we are not going to depart from those seven notes in this particular lesson. Now, when we look at C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, we make our, our chord by taking the first and the third and the fifth, and we get a major chord, C major. We can add the seventh, and we get C major seven, and it sounds kind of nice. And you could just sing, somewhere over the rainbow with that C major seven chord. But the nice thing about these seven notes is that you can start on any of them and get a seven note scale. Each scale will be different. Each scale will have its own strengths and weaknesses. Each scale fits into lots of other things in music theory, but here we're just using it in relation to the key of C. So here we go. Somewhere. This first change we can make is instead of playing the scale C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, we'll play it from D. So it gives us a different sound. No, notice the different sound. Here's the starting on D. That scale is called the Dorian. And it's really called a mode usually because it's inside the C scale, but it's a different scale inside it. And it's a different way of looking at the seven notes and their relationships. So here is C, and starting right next to it is D, Dorian. And so now, instead of saying, singing somewhere, it's staying on this one, I'm going to sing some, and then on the where, I'm going to change to the Dorian, and just listen to the difference. Somewhere.
That's using the Dorian mode, where the root is now D. Let's go to the next one, which is the Phrygian mode, and here we will we'll get that by using E. So here's C, here's D, here's E. So now we use the same seven notes, but... And starting with the E, we make our chord in every other note. That's our... turns out to be a minor chord, and then a seventh. Now let's try that. stranger but it still will work somewhere especially if you're going to work your way down somewhere over the rainbow let's do it again to the next one which starts on F. Could be called and is called the Lydian mode. Making it like this. It's this F major with a seventh. Major seventh. But it's played now in relation to being in the key of C. Now we do it again, the first two notes. Somewhere. You see that that is going to push us to something like this. That back to the E mode, and then the D mode, and then the somewhere. Next one is the Mixolydian. The Mixolydian in C starts on G. It's the fifth one. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. again somewhere over. so we've done the mixolydian what about the aeolian the aeolian starts on a it's a very familiar one because it's what we think of as the a minor chord sometimes the a minor key which relative to C, but notice we've just taken now, we've taken the same notes and worked our way up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and made this, this chord. And again, somewhere, somewhere, but instead of somewhere, somewhere. that's going to lead us right back into the C because we've got
one song, it gives us a lot of freedom when we realize that in the key of C, it's not just F and G that are our fourth and fifth chords of importance. The, all of these chords are based on different modes and scales. And they can all be used. So, 